Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Thursday's video. Today is Thursday, August 18th, 2011. And we're going to be talking about uh, Rocket Browser. I think they want me to say it that way. It's R-O-C-C-A-T. Um, I actually got it as a request a few days ago. I've been using it a little bit, not full time, as I can't get the gestures to work, as you can see. Uh, I'm still having trouble with Lion once, but uh, to get back and forth, uh, two fingers is not working right now in Lion, but maybe that's something that I just needed to configure and didn't figure out how. Here is their website. You can see the features. This thing's free. It's only 4.1 megabytes, and for being a free browser, it is really very nice. I, I prefer it to Chrome. I used to love Google Chrome uh, on the PC. We switched to the Mac a year and a half ago, hated it. Firefox is just heavy and bulky. Uh, I use Safari full time. This is definitely not going to replace that. But as a second or third, or in my case, fourth browser, this is a, a really nice tool to have that has some cool features. It's definitely very quick and uh, lightweight. Really like that about it. One of their features is VisiTabs. It's got visible tabs. Can't see it right now. It's not turned on. As you can see, I've got four tabs open. Come over to the top right. You click that, and you get a little preview of each tab you have open. If you're constantly switching between different tabs in your browser, this might be really easy so you don't have to read as much. You can look and, and uh, see the actual picture of what you're looking at. And then you can turn that off by clicking the same thing. You've got a shortcut to search Google here. That's always nice. I don't know what that you about to, about to enter full screen mode looks like it wants us to do something F it's got a full screen mode I guess it's not fully integrated with lion the escape key also took us out of that full screen mode so that could be useful this sideways heart thing here I've kind of been trying to figure this out it looks like it uh, is the URL shortener so if you're on a page and you want a URL shortener you just click that thing and and there it is. You don't have to go to bit.ly or cut hut or something and, and figure it out that way, which is which is nice. Uh, one of the things that I'm not real big on is some of the graphics that they've used here. They've made the back button or arrow quite a bit larger than the other one. It makes sense. You rarely are you going forward and browsing, so it makes sense. It just doesn't look as good. And for me, I use a Mac. I like things to look pretty, but there's those buttons back and forward, top left as, as usual. Refresh, stop loading, and then your home button. Uh, as you can see, the, the loading bar there is orange. I'm not real big on the color, but I guess it's kind of cool. You can't really change it. It doesn't much matter. Let's get that loading bar again. You can also uh, have this browser tell, its, tell uh, the websites that it's another browser. For example, it'll tell a website that it's Safari, allowing you to play uh, videos um, from Apple, which is nice. It's got an email previewer. Um, yeah, there's those tabs I talked about. It gets 100 out of 100 in the ACID 3 test, which is a uh, browser performance and, and whatnot test uh, that, that, that developers use to test their browsers. So that's nice. It also has an ad remover built in with uh, built within the engine. That's nice. It'll get rid of those annoying advertisements that uh, nobody really likes. You can import bookmarks. You've got English, French, and German localization as well as an eBuddy widget, which uh, I won't be showing in this video. We'll take a look at the preferences, command, comma, of course, just like anything else in the OS. And this actually looks quite a bit like the system preferences in OS X. Um, under general here, you can open new windows with uh, an empty page or a home page. There's your home page. You can tell it where to download files. And then you can use these previous and next buttons to go between different parts of this menu. This is why this menu system is like uh, OS X. And so then show all to get back here. Uh, you've got some options here, standard font, fixed width font, window opacity. I don't know why you'd want to change that. It just makes it harder to read, but you can change that. Window shadow on or off, and then your window level. You can do floating, desktop, or normal. See if we can get that back. Going back in here, we've got behavior. We've got some uh, behavior for spaces here. This, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through everything here. I, I recommend that you download it and try it. I mean, worst case scenario, you don't like the browser, you uninstall it and use something else. That's not really that big of a problem. Uh, from here, this is quite a bit like Safari. It uh, tells you uh, your, your shortcuts and tabs preferences there. Uh, you've got a whitelist, cinnamon updates. Uh, there's your visit tabs, plugin, security, uh, navigate launchers. You can type different things to do different things. Like uh, if you type in bug, it'll take you there and you can make your own, which could be nice for some shortcuts. Going up here, file, standard things, edit and view, history, standard. Bookmarks, you can import your bookmark lists there. Here's under under social, you can do that shorten URL feature, share page with Facebook, Twitter, any of those other places. Email page within the browser, that's kind of cool. Mail a link to the page, as I said. Hide the widget or show the widget. 
Might as well show it to you. It looks like this. Got a nice transparent window there. Then, of course, you've got to uh, create your account. So we'll just close that window. Pretty much uh, standard as well as menu search. I'll show you what a download window looks like. Uh, or it's actually really quick. I was surprised uh, with how fast this browser actually is. We'll run over to Skype.com and just get a copy of Skype downloading. And um, obviously this is very internet dependent. But um, we will show you what this looks like anyways. It's actually quite a bit like um, Firefox. It opens this up. It's 22 megs. It's already halfway done. It is very fast. And again, a lot of that is due to my uh, somewhat fast internet now, 21 and 22, really quick. Click the uh, thing there, and there's the DMG right in the Downloads folder. So really, really quick. Clear it from there, and then just close that window when you're done. So this browser, it seems to be very fast. It seems to be really lightweight, and it would definitely make a uh, phenomenal browser if you choose that you don't like uh, the other big browsers that are out there. So go ahead, download it. I'll leave a link to the download link in, in the down bar or whatever that is down below. Uh, again, it's free and it, it seems to be pretty good. I have not had any problems with it. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Subscribe if you like the content. Our tech site is techinform.us. We'll see what that looks like in this browser. I actually have not tried that. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Again, subscribe. We'll see what this looks like. There we go. Looks like everything loaded correctly. And uh, I guess that's it. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow if I do make a video on Friday. If not, Monday. Talk to you then.